Oh, apparently this is a new drink in town. So I want some free gift from DJ Alexis Grace live events like few weeks back during the MCO. So they delivered it on hand uh, just few days ago with a pack of hype energy drink. Uh, this is mojito flavored. This is also certified halal. Got a free t-shirt and a bracelet which is not on hand with me right now. But today's video is not about hype. Today's video is about recording good audio for your YouTube video. Well, from what I learned, there are three main things um, that you need to consider about when you are recording audio for YouTube channel. So the first one is the type of microphones that you use to record. So we have a shotgun microphone over here, a lavalier microphone, and also I'm recording audio on this um, camera which is about 3 to 5 feet um, away from me. So why did I mention um, the distance? So from what I learned, if you want to record like clean, good audio, talking heads audio, it's, it is best to get uh, the microphone as close as possible like what I've done here. Usually when we record audio or talking heads, we measure uh, in this distance like from the thumb to your pinky. So your mouth should be at least um, this distance to the microphone to get a clean nice audio if you don't have a shotgun microphone like this one here you can also use a lav mic that is attached to your body the general rule apply as well there's a uh, some distance um, between the mouth and the lavalier microphone usually on the chest um, because you get more of the bassy note from the chest as well um, that's from my experience anyway and the most undesirable audio is um, straight directly from the camera because the distance is so far and you record all the echo uh, in the room so without moving anything uh, in my setup here let's hear some sample from um, the shotgun microphone, the lavalier and onboard microphone. So this is a test from the shotgun microphone. And this is a test from the lavalier microphone. And this is a test from the onboard microphone. So right now, just to demonstrate the effect of distance between the speaker and the microphone, I will mount this um, shotgun microphone all the way back there, about 4 feet away um, on the camera. I also will put this left mic on the camera as well. And let's hear the difference um, between all of the microphones that is 4 feet away. So this is a sound check from the shotgun microphone um, 4 feet away from me. And this is a sound check from the lavalier microphone which is 4 feet away from me. And this is a sound check from the onboard camera microphone which is 4 feet away from me. If you don't want your microphone showing up in the frame, you can always hide it. That is what I did here. I hide my microphone, um, mounting it on the C-stand arm. So the microphone is just out of the frame here. And the distance from my mouth to the microphone is also about this length. So you still can get good clean audio while not having your microphone show up in your video. But that's uh, everyone's preference. There is no right or wrong. Well, I hope you learned something from this video today. Although I am not a professional sound guy, but I learned that sound quality or audio quality, especially speech, is really, really important in a video. They say that sound is half of the movie experience and I don't deny that. Because most of us can accept good quality sound and forgive bad picture quality, but they cannot forgive bad sound quality although you have some very very good quality picture. So that's it for me today. If you find this video helpful, please share it to a friend. Who knows, you might help them as well. I hope you stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you next week.